Alright YouTube, so it's been a while since we've done a non-video game related video. It's been like over a month at this point. We gotta get back into doing stuff like this, break up the monotony of the channel. We're not just talking about one single game all the damn time. I don't ever keep up with like internet drama, YouTube drama, Twitch drama. I follow a few channels that discuss stuff like that, which is the only reason I have access to it. Over the past few days, I've seen some people talking about Alunity, like, abusing her cat or whatever, which, uh, I don't know nothing about the chick. All I know is or the copy strike PewDiePie shit. I remember him talking about that, that whole drama. That's the extent of what I know about Alunity. I've only ever heard people talk bad about her, so she's probably a shitty person. But in this case, I feel like a lot of people are blowing this way out of proportion. Milo! So right there, you have the intense animal abuse. That cat's probably dead. It probably broke all four of its legs on that fall. So as I said previously, I'd seen some people like talk about this. I'd seen some articles, but I never read any of them. And I didn't even watch the clip or the video until right before making this video. Which is why I'm so surprised there's so much traction and backlash to this. Because people want her like banned off of Twitch, which I'm sure there's a lot of reasons for her to get banned. But this to me, just it, it's not ban worthy. Look, man, I'm a huge animal lover. I am a cat person. I have a cat that I've had for five or six years now I take care of. And there's cats all around the property that I live on that belong to other people and stray cats that I also take care of and feed every single day of my life. I'm a massive animal person. I've had an, at least one pet pretty much my entire life. Look, if you've ever owned a cat, you know that that cat is completely fine. It did not get hurt in the slightest. It landed on all four of its feet. It is perfectly okay. Does she abuse the cat off camera when the camera's off? Is she beating the shit out of it? I have no idea. But I'm, in this situation that everybody's latching onto this six second clip, the cat is fine. Milo. There's a change.org petition to get her banned off of Twitch, which is obviously addressing the throwing the cat thing. But also, it mentions her like giving her cat vodka at one point in time, and apparently kicking her dog in the past live stream as well. Which, if those are the case, then yeah, I'm all for that. These are animal abuse. Giving the cat alcohol, animal abuse. Kicking your dog, obvious animal abuse. But this whole like throwing the cat behind the chair thing, again, the cat's fine. I'll have this link below if you want to like sign it. I'm not telling you to not support getting her banned off of Twitch. Again, I know she's almost like 99% certain that she's a shitty person, just given the reception that everybody has of her. And again, I'm not trying to defend her as a person. I don't know anything about the chick. I, I'm trying to make that clear in this video because I did a video in the past uh, with like Helena Live, I think was her name, where she got banned for, you know, talking about the two genders thing. But a lot of people thought I was just defending her. I'm talking about that situation in a bottle. Same thing here. I don't know shit about Helena Live. She apparently turned out to be a shitty person as well. I'm trying to make it clear in this video that I don't know a damn thing about Alinity. And when it came to Helena Live, a lot of people were saying that that was just like the straw that broke the camel's back, as they say, if you're like seven years old, that's something you say. Like, she was need to be gone off of Twitch for a long time, and the two genders thing was just something they could latch onto, Twitch themselves could latch onto, to get her banned. And that's probably what people are trying to do here, they just want Alinity off of Twitch. There's going to be the people out there that feel like this is legitimate animal abuse, but then there's going to be a lot of people out there who just don't like Alinity, and they just want her off of Twitch, which is fair, I'm sure she deserves it. If you've ever owned a cat, you know that that cat is perfectly fine. There's a reason why there's a saying like cats always land on their feet. That was a very small drop. She didn't like slam the cat into the ground. She dropped it behind the chair. The cat probably stood there for a second or two trying to figure out what the hell is going on and then went on about being a cat and was okay. I've pushed my cat off the kitchen counter I don't know how many times at this point when I'm trying to make some food or something, which is about the same height when she dropped the cat behind the chair. The cat is okay in that sense, dude. Like, If you think the cat got hurt from that little bitty fall, you've clearly never owned a cat. And just for a little bit of context, I wish I had a video, but like the cats that I own and like take care of get on top of my roof and I feed them outside of my window, like right next to my bedroom, right next to where I record videos. And they jump off the roof to the ground, which is about, you know, 10 feet or so, 10 feet or more. They can jump off the roof of my house, land on the ground perfectly fine, come over to me and I start feeding them and pet them and shit. The cat is okay. Look, if you just want her off of Twitch, I completely understand. I don't have a personal opinion on her, but she seems to be a pretty shitty person from what everybody says. If you just want her off of Twitch, I get it. But we're looking at this in a bottle. This particular situation, everybody talking about animal abuse, it's just not there for me. As a cat owner, it's just not there. Now, if she does have a history of abusing her animals, like the Change.org petition says, then I don't have any sympathy for her. Not that I have any sympathy for her anyways. I'm actually very impartial when it comes to this. But I don't have any tolerance for animal abuse videos, bro. I've watched, like, gore videos and stuff online, that type of shit that's been around forever. I can watch that stuff, like, people getting killed and all that shit. I can't watch animal abuse videos. It's just, I hate it. It just pisses me off. It disgusts me. I can't watch it. If I felt like this was animal abuse, I'd be on the bandwagon, too. I'd be like, hell yeah, dude. Get rid of the bitch. Get her off of Twitch. Get rid of the hoe. Get rid of the thought, as people call her. Like, yeah, I'd be all for that. I'd be bandwagoning with you guys. But I don't feel that here. 
Anyways, that's the video. I just want to do something a little bit different. The news is kind of light anyways currently for FF7 Remake. There's not really anything to talk about or any other games that I really want to talk about anyway. It's kind of the only game I'll talk about. This will either be a very late upload or we might save it till like midday Monday. I'm not entirely sure. It depends on how long it takes to process and upload. But as always, I pass up to you guys in the comment section. What are your thoughts? Do you think she completely yeeted the cat into the ground? Is the cat dead? Did it break all of its legs? Or do you just want Alinity off of Twitch no matter what? Like, again, I don't really have a, a dog in this fight. I don't even really fuck with Twitch, dude. Like, there's maybe two or three people that I watch on Twitch, and it's very rare that I ever do. That's probably why I don't really care, because I'm just not a Twitch person. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And we'll stay up to date with more not Alinity content. Turn on my notifications. Follow me on Twitter at TheDashingDavid. And my Discord links most of those notebooks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys. Milo!